Donald Donald Trump Trump. right now, no question about it. What a scene last night. Donald Trump toe-to-toe with Bill O'Reilly on Fox News. But all signs now that O'Reilly did not convince Trump to take that debate stage tonight. And in fact, take a look at these new poll numbers showing Trump gaining momentum in Iowa now at 32 percent. Is Trump, though, taking a risk not showing up at tonight's debate? Or is he keeping his momentum going? That is the big question right now. He's going to hold his own event in Des Moines tonight. He's just tweeted out that a couple of the other candidates are going to join him there as well. Both stages now set just four days until the Iowa caucuses. It's your voice, your vote. And we begin this morning's coverage with Tom Yamas in Des Moines. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. This GOP debate fiasco has essentially turned into a prize fight now. Senator Ted Cruz saying last night he's booked a venue for Saturday night in Sioux City, Iowa to debate Trump one on one and a super PAC supporting Ted Cruz says they'll pony up one point five million dollars to a veterans charity if Trump shows up. Overnight, the GOP debate drama starring Donald Trump taking wild turns. I don't think not showing up at the debate tomorrow night is good for America. First, Trump appearing on the very network whose debate he's boycotting. I was not treated well by Fox, and I said, you know, how much of this do you take? I have zero respect for Megyn Kelly. I don't think she's very good at what she does. I think she's highly overrated. In your Christian faith. Host Bill O'Reilly turning to the Bible, suggesting Trump channel his Christian values and and appear at tonight's debate instead of hosting his own event at Drake University. You know, it's called an eye for an eye, I guess, also. You can look at it that way. No, no, no. You, you, that's Old Testament. Bill. No, 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 no. You are taking if it. If you're the Christian, the eye hey, for the Bill. eye goes out. Here's, here's what it is. Turn in the Bill, other cheek. Bill, let me tell you, you're taking this right much here. more seriously than I am. O'Reilly asking Trump if he's being too sensitive. A lot of people thought when you started to run that this was a joke, that you weren't going to get anywhere, that you were a buffoon. You know it all. Okay, but now I don't think they thought very, I was a buffoon. What kind of a statement is well, that? Show no, it's not a very as, it's a, not, as a reality Bill, it's guy. It's not a very nice way of expressing. No, they thought I wouldn't run. And overnight, another development in a one-on-one debate, mano a mano. The Cruz team sending this letter to the Trump campaign, announcing the duel, which reads in part, "We owe it to the men and women of Iowa." So we have a venue, we have a time. All we're missing. is a candidate. The Trump campaign calling this a desperate attempt to gain more publicity and that the Cruz campaign is failing in Iowa. I caught up with Cruz after his late night rally. Do you think Donald Trump's afraid to debate you personally? Well, actions speak louder than words. Uh, I would welcome him in Sioux City Saturday night. We have a venue, a town hall. And at the end of the day, I don't think he's afraid of Megyn Kelly. I don't even think he's afraid of me. I think he's afraid of the people of Iowa. He doesn't want to answer their questions. He doesn't want to defend his record. And as for that $1.5 million in super PAC money from that super PAC supporting Ted Cruz, if the debate happens between Trump and Cruz, the Trump campaign tells me super PAC money is dirty money and the super PACs own Ted Cruz. And they're opening to debating Ted Cruz, but in Canada.